I just needed a new power supply for a small system that I'm building and I choose this. This is a Behringer CP1A. It's a very simple uh, power supply for my Eurorack setup. Let's see what's inside. It's a big box. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, let's start the unboxing here. So let's see what's inside. Yeah, it's a very big box. Yeah, here is the module, which is very small, as you can see. Yeah, quite small, but quite deep as well. And he has two IDC connectors for rhythm cables. And then we have another box here. Yeah, warranty cards and instructions. And we have another box inside the big box, which hopefully will contain the power supply itself and the cables, the ribbon cables. So let's see. So yes, we have one and two ribbon cable with seven IDC connectors again, some screws, and then we have the wall mount power supply here. There is something else inside the box. Yeah, which is the power plug. So let's see how it behaves in my smaller system. Yes, this is the smaller system that I have, and I have a problem with my PSU, which I don't know, which doesn't provide, I think, enough current, and it's also very big and bulky, and it's not stable because it's moving, and it's probably also making some kind of contact, so it goes goes strange sometimes. So let's try to replace this with the Behringer CP1A. And one of the first issues that I'm facing is that the module is really deep and my case is really short because my case is about 5 centimeters and the module is about 4 and you can see I only have a very little clearance um, left below the connector so I, I really hope that I can connect the IDC connector in here and see what and see if I can work it out. And yes, I managed to fit everything inside this small, smaller box. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble because, yeah, the, the models are very, very tall. Some of the models and the, and, the, and the CPU-1A is very tall as well. So I have to fit all the flying bus together. But in the end, it's working. So I can now simply switch the button and everything works correctly. I have already tested it for a little bit and I let it down I let it on for more than one hour and it didn't blow up and also it's very very cold no no heating I had uh, in the past I have used a tip top useus and it was really becoming really hot after 20 minutes of usage and in this case after well well more than one hour is still pretty cold so it's a good choice if you want to power up a small system like in like, like this one that I have you can see it's uh, mostly Erica synth DIY modules, and I have a um, music from other space mini synth, and also um, another Erica synth, which is a, is not DIY, and it is a BBD delay.